Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and I've got an announcement to make. The new Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus and the other ones are now out for 2021. And this is what the product page looks like, or at least a section of it. And this is what the program looks like. Now I've got the timeline loaded up with one object here. This is a video object that I just put in. And you can see the video is represented up here with these little thumbnails and the audio is down here below it. And over here we have the different modes. So I'm in timeline mode now. You can also have uh, storyboard mode, multicam. Uh, I'm not gonna go in it right now, but it's all there. And one thing I like about the timeline mode now is they've made this slider down here quite a bit bigger much easier to use and I used to have trouble grabbing the edges but now that's not a problem it's big enough where I can easily grab it and we still have our abilities up here to use the audio slider which is now quite large easy to get to and you can also use the video transparency line right here those are just a few simple things that are there that make this a very easy to use interface and when you're wanting to cut you've got all your features up here like the scissors for cut so if I do the scissors I can cut a video I can undo it everything's right there and then up here under effects and uh, transitions templates all of that's right here now you just pull this down if you want a list view you can check that to get your list view so now you can scroll down and see everything a little bit better with the titles. Templates, there's lots of new templates out, but uh, it varies on the package that you get. So let's go back to the product page right here. I wanna talk about what you can actually get as far as the products go. So you can see here we have 1500 effects, titles, and templates with the plus version but only 900 with the pro versions. Now all three of them will do 8K video. So that's a new feature in Magix that you might like if you happen to have a camera that does 8K. So I usually get at least the, the plus version and uh, I just want to say that this is provided for me by Magix right now. They gave me the plus version just so I could do some tutorials on this product and I'll be doing at least five probably many more but uh, right now I'm just doing an overview and I'm talking about installation and how to get these extra effects called extra content so if you buy this package you're going to get more extra content than you do with the pro version the premium version has the same amount of effects in fact the only really the different thing about the premium version is down here it's got the new blue filters and this is a little example here of the new blue filters. Kind of loud, but anyway, that's the new blue filters. Um, are they worth the extra 30 bucks or whatever? I don't know, that'd be up to you, but I usually just get the plus version if I'm getting a brand new package. Now, upgrade's a different story. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. If we go down here and it's a new purchase, if you get the plus version, it's $99.99. If you get the pro version without all the, as many effects, without as many effects, and the many features are missing too, it's $69.99. So for an extra $30, you can get a lot more uh, usability out of it. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't get the pro if you're a new purchaser. Premium is going to be another $30 to get that uh, new blue filters. So that's up to you. Um, I'd kind of hold off, just get the plus version, save yourself some money. And then later, maybe the next upgrade, you can go ahead and get the premium because here's why. If you go to the upgrade version, say you already own it and you get the upgrade version, Number one, the plus version is actually cheaper than the pro version. See that, it's $10 cheaper. So you might as well get the plus because you're getting more features. Now, if you want to get the premium now and get the new blue 
you can get it for only ten dollars more so now that would be the time to get the premium when you do the upgrade just saying it's up to you of course but that is how I look at it and if we go back to the program let's talk about how we can actually install it and get that content so when you first get your Magic Smoothie Edit Pro you'll have a file that you download and install and then once you get it installed this box will pop up and ask you to download the extra content and you can just go ahead and click OK there and then it'll come up and you'll see another dialog come up to where you can actually download the content in fact sometimes it just starts automatically so each selection that's in the menu like fade effects menu templates design elements etc will start downloading and after each download it'll then install each of the different installation elements so it's going along installing that one then it'll just automatically go to the next one download that and install it and you'll basically see this happen over and over as it goes down the list now it could be that you have a slow internet connection and you're not able to get these as fast as you'd like and if that happens you can just select the ones that you want to download at the time and do them one by one a little at a time I just happened to do them all at once because I had a good high-speed internet connection okay now if you didn't get it all you can actually go back and get it and so you go to help and once you're in the help section you can go ahead and install extra content which is right here in fact uh, just let me start over because go to help then go to install extra content click that and then this window will come up click download extra content and then once that happens you'll see the screen flash and then another window will come up after this one there it is and you can select what you want for example demo project if you didn't get that one click continue and once you click continue you can leave the files on the hard drive if you want to install them later on another computer or something so you can click yes there it'll take up hard drive space though okay then after that you'll see another dialog come up where it'll start to download and then install the extra content okay here it is so now you can click OK to download complete so there we go so it's downloading the demo project now it's going to extract it you can see that and then it'll go ahead and install it and once it's all installed you can then exit the box okay so there are some items that won't be in that particular section under help and they'll be associated with the programs you want to use for example travel route is one of those if you go to that it'll have an update that has to be installed before you can use it so this is just a, another addition to what you already have so if you get that or you purchase other things on the store you may have to use them uh, separately and do their updates separately so now it's downloading the update okay once the update is done you'll see the screen go blank for a minute and then it'll come up and install it okay now we can click next install and it'll go through the installation this takes a little bit of time okay now we can click finished and at this point we can use the travel maps there are some other additions to it that you can get here's a tutorial that comes with it that you can watch how to use it I won't get into that but yeah there are some other packages that you can get for different locations that you can download as well okay right here is the map and here's where you can do your travel route animation this is a good addition to a movie Thanks for watching, and if you want to see some more tutorials, I'm going to be doing quite a few of them, so please subscribe.